Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the world of the Japanese auto parts business. If you're looking to start a business or just curious about how to source and sell auto parts from Japan, this video is for you. We will cover everything from finding the best parts to setting up your business. Let's get started. Before diving into the topic, if you're new here and you resonate with the content that we create, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification on for more videos updates. First, let's talk about why the Japanese auto parts business is a great opportunity. Japan is known for its high quality automotive industry. Producing reliable and durable parts, there is a global demand for these parts making it a lucrative market. Additionally, many vehicles around the world use Japanese parts, ensuring a steady demand. Before you start, it is important to understand the market. The auto parts market in Japan includes everything, from engines and transmissions to smaller parts like filters and brake pads. Popular brands include Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Subaru, and Mitsubishi. Research which parts are in high demand in your target market to make informed purchasing decisions. Now, let's talk about sourcing auto parts. Sourcing auto parts in Japan can be done through several channels. Number 1. Car Auctions Just like for used cars, you can source parts from car auctions. Some cars are sold for parts only providing a good source for engines, transmissions, and other major components. Number 2. Auto Parts Markets Japan has several auto parts markets where you can buy new and used parts. Places like Super Autobex and Up Garage are popular for finding both OEM and aftermarket parts. Number 3. Online Platforms Websites like Yahoo Auctions Japan and Rakuten allow you to buy parts online. These platforms have a wide variety of parts from different sellers. Number 4. Direct from manufacturers. If you're looking to buy in bulk, consider establishing a relationship with manufacturers or authorized dealers. This can often lead to a better prices and reliable supply. Next, let's discuss importing and exporting auto parts. If you plan to export auto parts from Japan, here's what you need to know. Number 1. Understand regulations. Each country has different regulations for importing auto parts. Research the requirements for your target market. Number 2. Shipping logistics. Arrange for shipping including container shipping for large parts. Work with repeatable shipping companies to ensure smooth logistics. Number 3. Documentation. Ensure you have all necessary documentation including export certificates, bills of lading and invoices. Number 4. Customs Clearance. Be prepared for customs clearance procedures in both Japan and the destination country. This can involve inspections and additional paperwork. Now let's talk about setting up your auto parts business. Setting up your auto parts business involves several key steps. Number 1. Business Plan Create a detailed business plan outlining your target market, sourcing strategy, pricing, and marketing plan. Number 2. Business Registration Register your business and obtain the necessary licenses and permits. This varies by location. Number 3. Warehouse and Logistics Set up a warehouse to store your inventory and arrange logistics for shipping parts to your customers. Number 4. Online Presence Create a professional website and list your parts on popular online marketplaces. High quality photos and detailed descriptions are key. Number 5. Customer Service Provide excellent customer service including transparent pricing and honest descriptions. This builds trust and encourages repeat business. Next, let's discuss marketing and sales strategies. Here are some effective marketing and sales strategies. Number 1. Online marketing. Use social media, SEO, and online advertising to reach potential buyers. Highlight the quality and reliability of Japanese auto parts. Number 2. Networking. 
build relationships with local mechanics, car enthusiasts, and auto shops, offer them deals to encourage repeat business. Number 3. Trade Shows Attend automotive trade shows and exhibitions to showcase your products and connect with potential customers. Number 4. Content Marketing Create content such as blog posts, videos, and guides about maintaining and repairing cars using Japanese parts. This can attract potential customers and establish you as an authority in the market. Now I'm going to give you some tips for success. Here are some tips to help you succeed in the Japanese auto parts business. Number 1. Stay informed. Keep up with market trends and changes in regulations. Number 2. Quality control. Always ensure the parts you sell are in good condition and fairly priced. Number 3. Customer feedback. Listen to your customers and use their feedback to improve your services. Number 4. Efficient logistics. Ensure your logistics are efficient to reduce costs and improve delivery times. That's it for today's video on starting a Japanese auto parts business. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on business opportunities and life in Japan. If any questions or experience to share, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.